Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we talked about pair of angles. We talked about, uh, we talked about actually uh, complementary angles, right? So we talked about supplementary angles. We talked about adjacent angles. We talked about vertically opposite angle. Okay. We talked about linear pair of angles. So we talked about so many pairs of angles. Okay. So in this slide, let's understand more about linear pair of angles and the properties of the linear pair of angles. Okay. So let's understand the relationship between the linear pairs of angles now. So linear pair of angles, as we have discussed, is sum of two adjacent angles whose sum is 180 degree. So this angle is let's suppose one, this angle is two. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree plus they are adjacent. Okay. So let's try to find the relationship between these angles. We know that. We know that angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree. This is by definition actually. So uh, I can say that uh, if, if there is a line and if there is a ray that stands out on this line. So you get two angles, angle 3 and angle 4. Angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree. Okay, there is a line, there is a ray it stands out on this line. Here also, let's suppose this is 5 and 6. Angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree. Okay. So with this, there is axiom. This is something which you can actually prove by drawing. So you, you take any line, you can take any line, draw a ray and this, then for, add the two angles that is formed. You'll see that the sum of the angle is 180. So with this, I can create an axiom. That is, if a ray stands on a line that means I'm creating a linear pair of angles then sum of two adjacent angles so form that will be 180 degree okay okay so this is an axiom because there is no proof for this. This is considered to be true and using construction itself, we can prove it. But there is no proof for this statement. This is considered to be true. Right. So with this, we can reiterate the definition of linear pair of angles that is adjacent angles whose sum is 180 degree. Okay. So whatever we wrote, if we can write the converse of this, converse of this axiom. For example, if I say that uh, if it rains, okay, if it rains, I will not go to school. This is the statement. The converse will be what? The converse will be if I don't go to school, this implies that it rained. Right? So in this case, if you see this is the statement that is true, but this statement may not be true. Correct. So if it, if it rains, I will not go to school. That is for sure. 
The second statement is if I don't go to school, that means it rain. So it can be for other reason also. Maybe you are not well. That that's why you didn't go to school. Okay. So, but if you see this statement is statement A and this is converse of statement A, right? It conveys the same message but in the other direct, other uh, in in the reversed uh, tone. Okay. So let me rewrite this same axiom in the reverse tone. It says that if a ray, ray stands out on a line, then the sum of the two adjacent angles is one eighty degree. I'll rewrite saying that if sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree so in that case then ray stands on the line okay that is the converse this converse may be true may be false we don't know we have to prove it for example in this case the converse is false Okay, or let's take one example of a Pythagoras theorem. So let me take the example of Pythagoras theorem. Here. Right, this is a triangle. Okay, this is P, this is B, and this is H. Right, and this is angle one. So if angle one is ninety degree, if then I can say that P square plus B square. This is the statement. Want to write the converse? If p square plus b square is equal to h square, then angle one is ninety degree. And you see, there are two statements. They are converse of each other, and in this case, both are true. But there can be a statement in which the converse is not true. For example, let's take this statement. If I say that if angle a is thirty degree. It is acute. Okay, it is acute angle. Let's take the flip of this. If angle A is acute, it has to be thirty degree. So in this case, if you see, this is true, but this is false, right? If angle A is acute, it can be forty-five degree, fifty degree, seventy degree, eighty degree, anything less than ninety degree. But in this case, if you see, the statement is true, converse is also true. So the reason why I gave you two example was from the mathematical world to show you that for any statement you can write a converse. For any statement you can actually write a converse. That is nothing but using English grammar to write a converse of the statement. But is that statement true? Is that converse statement true or not? That is something you have to again prove. Okay. Same thing. There was an axiom that if a ray stands out on a line, then the sum of the adjacent angles so formed is one eighty degree. That we have seen. This is axiom because there is no proof for this. It is considered to be true. Using construction also, you can say that it is true. And for that, we wrote a converse. But is that converse true or not? We have to prove. Okay. So let's try to prove if the converse, this converse, is true or not. I hope you are understanding my point. For any statement, I can write a converse. Example: In this case, we wrote a converse. But the converse is true or not? That is something we don't know. For that, we have to actually prove it. Okay. So the the question says that if sum of two which is an angle is one eighty degree, then a ray stands on the line. That means we have to uh, draw. Edges and angles whose sum is one eighty degree and edges and angles whose sum is not one eighty degree, and see the statement is true in which case. So let's draw a case where the edges and angles sum is less than one eighty degree. Let's take some other example. Let's take one example where the edges and angle sum is one eighty degree. Let's take one example where the edges and angles sum is greater than one eighty. So I will take these scenarios. In fact, these two are same. So let me take only these three scenarios. These are exactly same. So uh, if you see in this case, the sum of the adjacent angle is not one eighty degree, right? So I am taking a not scenario. And if you see in this case, the ray is not standing on a line. This is not a line. So this statement is true for this particular scenario. Let's take this scenario. If the sum of two adjacent angles is one eighty degree, in this case it is true. 
right? This is x and this is 90 minus x. This may be 30 and this may be 40 and just taking some number. This may be 60 and this may be again 60. Okay, so this is 180, yes. Then the ray stands out on a line, yes, it is true. Let's take this scenario. If the sum of the adjacent angle is 180, no, in this case 120 degree, then the ray stands out on a line, no. So both are no, that means this, this statement, the converse statement which I have written is true for all these three scenarios, right? Thus, I can say that this is also a true statement. Right? So with these, we can conclude that this converse is also true. Are you getting my point? See, we have axiom, we wrote a converse of this axiom and then we prove that this converse is also true. Okay. Now, now since we have a axiom and then this is true, I'll make it as converse axiom because this is also true. Right? See, I could write this word axiom only after proving it that this is true. Only once it was true, I can say it is a converse axiom. Thus, for a linear pair of angles, there are two axioms. One is if a ray stands out on a line and the sum of the adjacent angles will form this 180 degree. And the second is if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree, then the ray stands out on a line. Correct? So for linear pair of angles, there are two axioms. And since they are axioms, both are true. Okay. So with this, I think it is clear that we have an axiom and this is axiom because it is considered to be true. We didn't have any theorem to prove it just by using geometrical construction and by observation. We have seen that if the ray stands on a line, then the sum of the adjacent angle is 180 degree. So it is axiom. Right? So for linear pair of angles, we have two axioms and both are true. That is, if a ray stands on a line, then the sum of the two adjacent angle is 180 degree. And if the sum of two adjacent angle is 180 degree, then the ray stands on a line. Please understand this. These are two axioms okay, for linear pair of angles. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.